Welcome back folks, Last Emil here, let's talk about Fallout 4. So, I got a question from GamerBeast2072 and he said to me like, you should do a video on how you're gonna be uh, playing this game and what type of character are you going to build. Now, first of all, let's talk on how, how I'm going to start playing this game and uh, you all know this first feeling when you step out of the vault in like in a Fallout game. For like example, New Vegas where you step out of the house, but it's the same feeling. There is this blur. There is this bright light and it all goes away, you see this whole new wasteland, you see nothingness and the unknown in front of you and you're like, oh my god, I'm gonna go explore this, it's going to be amazing to see something new. And it's the best feeling in the world, yeah, yeah, I played like, I played Fallout 3, I've passed it like five times and like, the first time was the best because it's unknown, you don't know where to go, what am I going to do now? Where are the quests? Where are the people? But um, when you when you play the game once and you're like, okay, this is the wasteland. Hey, I know this place. I know where the quests are. I know where the NPCs are. I'm just gonna go and do that. So it it doesn't have the same feeling to it. But like for the first time, it is the best feeling in the world when you step out of this vault and you see this whole new world. And the first thing that I do is I find a settlement because I want to talk to the characters, um, maybe they'll explain some new things to me, maybe they will say like, okay, you have this area over here you should you should see or don't step out, step in that area, that's where I go first because if someone says to me, don't go there, it's dangerous, I'm like, okay, I'm going there definitely because I love to like find death claws and stuff, it's like the best feeling ever. I usually get killed, but yeah, you know how it goes. But um, yeah, I usually find a settlement and that settlement, if it's like, uh, for example, Megaton, it becomes my base of operations. Like, it wasn't the same thing as in New Vegas. I mean, in New Vegas, you had to go from town to town to actually do the main quest, but um, in in Fallout 3 was amazing because you had, you had Megaton, and for me, Megaton was like this base of operation. Okay, I have all the items there. I have uh, I have all of the NPCs there, so I know. Okay, I'm going to start exploring, like probably from west to east, or just do some random quests. But um, in Fallout 4, you can build your own settlement, so that is amazing. Because I'll probably like I'll find a settlement. Okay, see the see the the environment a bit, see my surroundings. Then I'm going to go and find the area to start building my settlement. And I'll build a house, I'll build like some basic stuff that I need to store my items, and I'm just going to go and explore. I mean, I don't do so many quests at the beginning, I, yeah, I do like a couple of quests, but I usually just go and start exploring and encounter random people, random quests, and that's like the best thing in the world, because you, you don't just say, okay, I'm going to do here, then I'm gonna do this quest now, then I'm going to do this quest after that. I usually just say, okay, I have my items, I have stim packs, I am ready, I am well rested, I'm gonna go and just look at stuff and usually when you explore a new area you're going to find this quest and you're gonna get involved in that story then you're when you're done with all that I'm going to move to another location meet new people and every every like uh, location brings its own feeling to it and it's so amazing it's, especially playing it for the first time because you don't know shit on where something is and you're like oh my god this is this is just wow so yeah, it's going to be like that, I'm going to start building my settlement and then actually start collecting stuff, then I'm going to start selling it and then after that I'm going to start building my settlement to be a little bit bigger, maybe get some trading caravans there and like focus on, on, the, on the quests a bit. But do I do main quests first? No, I like when I finish all the quests, when I'm done with all that, I actually go with the main quest. I don't just go like, okay, I'm going to finish main quest then I'm going to load the game back or start again and do everything else. No, I'm like, I'm gonna do everything that this game has to offer, like every single thing, and then I'm going to move on to the ending, because that's the same thing that I do, did with Witcher 3. Uh, I finished all the contracts, I finished almost all the side quests, I, I explored every single part of the map, and I'm like, okay, I have nothing new to do, I'm gonna go and I'm going to finish the game, because that's it, I don't have anything else to do, but... Uh, if I finish the main story, I'm like, ah, shit, I should have done this. I'm like, nah, I don't want to do this. No, nah, I'm just going to focus on, like, doing everything I can. And we weapons crafting, I'm going to invest a lot of hours in that to find the best weapon for me, to, like, what's going to suit me. I'll probably make a couple of videos on that as well when the game comes out, so it's, uh, it's going to be epic. Now, my play style, how do I enter a building and fuck shit up? I usually take light armor with me, probably leather or something like that. I don't, I'm not a fan of power armor, 
but you know with Fallout 4 you can, you can actually you know you, you you really have the power armor it's like you feel like a tank and that's something I really want to go in and see how the, the overall feeling of the armor is because like you know in previous Fallout games you have the heavy armor I mean the the power armor it's good it's it's really um, it has high defense all that kind of stuff but it, it's not the same feeling as actually Equipping the armor just go in it and just fuck shit up. It's not the same feeling so I have to I'm going to I let's just let's say when the game comes out I'm going to see what play style is going to be with or without power armor, but usually I take um, Probably leather armor or something like that that that's like light and I invest a lot in uh, agility I invest a lot in uh, perception and endurance and I usually go with the submachine rifle or assault rifle. I take like uh, small weapons. I, I don't take like energy weapons so much. I'm not a fan of them so much. It's like plasma rifles, not so much actually. I'm more like, give me the Chinese assault rifle or the normal assault rifle. I'm gonna go fuck shit up with that. Or or combat shotgun. I'm not like, okay, give me the, the, the plasma rifle. I'm going to do that. No, I, I just take a small gun. Probably like a, like a Chinese soul trifle or something like that and I go with that now Basically, I do a lot of sneaking and they said that they actually did uh, they uh, they Renewed uh, the, the sneaking element in the Fallout 4. It's going to be different. It's going to feel different So I'll try to sneak in some areas uh, probably when I actually finish the, the, the item that I wanted to pick up I'm going to stand up and fuck shit up then or just go in with a fat man. I mean, fat man is probably the coolest thing you can see in a Fallout game. It's like the best because you can fuck shit up so fast and kill everyone on the map so easily. Now, yeah, and what I'm going to do as well when I enter the game, I'm going to try to find rare weapons because I love using them and I love to have this unique weapon. Yeah, it is going to, you know, you can craft your weapon, but if you have a weapon which is unique, with something can't make, there's only one item on the map and I'm going to find it, I'm going to start doing that and that's like what I love doing. So also, unique armor sets, all that kind of stuff, I love, I love finding that and just hearing the stories that people have to say, it's uh, it's really, really amazing. So basically that's my play style, I don't go with heavy weapons, I rarely use mini guns. Fat Man is the example of it, but yeah, they changed the the, the 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 guns how they work a lot. So I'm gonna have to wait and see what is my best choice for that. But it's usually the same, like light armor, assault weapons. Go in probably sometimes with a silencer, but usually, um, you know, like assault rifle and that kind of stuff. And uh, basically melee weapons. Someone asked me like long time ago, do you use melee weapons? Sometimes. I use the Ripper a lot because Ripper is so fun to play, which is you, you just run into someone just bam, bam and they're dead. So yeah, Ripper is fun, but uh, it's basically it's a new game which is like, um, they changed a lot of things. Maybe melee weapons are going to be my first choice because they're going to be fun to play with. We'll see, but um, yeah, that is probably what I have to say for this video. So that is my play style, that's how I start a new Fallout game. I hope you love this, I'm going to make more videos like this, so if you have any questions, if you want me to make video on a certain topic, please uh, leave a comment down below and I will be making those videos. And uh, thank you for watching, Last Meal signing out, and stay classy everyone, goodbye.